Hello everybody, this is Mr. Lu and today is uh, quite a important session that I want to encourage everybody. Uh, I saw this, this news, uh, it, says, it says that two-thirds of Singapore consumers expect an economic downturn over the next year, okay? And this is a, this is a survey uh, that was done by UOB. Um, and and that this figure is about this figure is about um, the same as last year as well. In two zero two two, seventy percent of our uh, of UOB survey uh, survey respondents said the same thing that uh, that they foresee an economic downturn this year. Sixty eight percent, I think, is statistically insignificantly uh, uh, different. Uh, so so therefore, you know, majority of Singaporean. Uh, see a economic downturn from the for the next six to twelve months. Okay, uh, interestingly, when you deep dive deeper, the top of concern isn't about economic downturn. Okay, it's about an increased cost of living. Okay, increased cost of living, and that's a that's a that's a very serious uh, that's a very serious uh, worry. Rising inflation. Okay, seventy one percent of the respondents are worried about rising inflation. And sixty four percent fret about increasing household expenditure. Okay, and these numbers are much bigger than ASEAN. And I need to say this. Okay, let's come to terms. Singapore is one of the most expensive city in the world. We are all feeling it. I'm feeling it. You're feeling it. Everybody feeling. Maybe all of us feel it differently. Okay, I travel around the world widely. In fact, now I'm in. Uh, now I'm in Barcelona in Spain. Uh, I think it's uh, much cheaper in here than in Singapore, right? Uh, I was in Portugal. Uh, things are much cheaper in Portugal than Singapore. Uh, and I think, uh, I think a taxi will take half an hour. Uh, the Uber only cost me about uh, 12 to 15 euros, which is about less than $20. In Singapore, that will easily be double the price if you take an Uber, okay? So, so it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's actually a real worrying sign, okay? Real worrying sign. And a lot of people are worried about uh, falling uh, along uh, long-term financial commitments, followed by a decline in savings or wealth holding. Okay, so all these are top concern. The top four concern. Let me repeat again: rising inflation and increase in household expenditure. All this about inflation. Okay, so inflation is number one worry, and number two, wor a big worry is basically long-term financial commitment, and followed by a decline in savings or wealth holding. I consider. This uh, another big bucket as well, so uh, this is really a this is a real uh, serious issue, okay? And um, but so actually, so actually, if you look at it, uh, we actually have we actually the the although everybody think about you know an economic uh, downturn coming and things like that, but their worry isn't about economic downturn, right? So basically, their gloominess is uh, has 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 uh, has has clouded their judgment uh, in the sense that. Uh, their rising inflation problem, okay, they, they, they extrapolated that in a financial downturn. Uh, it's actually two different things. Yeah? You could have an upswing in financial downturn and a rising inflation. You know? it's, uh, it's exactly what is happening right now in, U in US. US, they have an economic growth right now, okay, strong economy, and there's a high inflation, right? So, so we, we, we actually have a very uh, unusual, unusual situation in US. Uh, and we could uh, we could well experience this things like that. So the top of the worry really is inflation, 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 and that eats up uh, that eats up uh, people's savings. Yeah, you know, and and causes uh, people that worry about uh, ability to retire, ability to save money, ability to to have uh, to be financial well to do and things like that. So so actually this is uh, this is a real uh, situation, right? This is a real real serious situation. Um, and if you read the article, uh, which uh, which I, I think uh, is something that um, uh, the deep dive into it, really that that it goes down to two two things that we need to do. Okay, now I'm gonna say things that two things you need to do. You're gonna say it's fake, but I'm gonna try to give you the solution to it. Okay, if today you are feeling the pains of inflation, okay, say me me me. Okay, at least I, I know, right? And if you are if you are feeling the pains and you know you're worried that in, in future you can have enough money, uh, also say me, me, me. I understand, okay? Let me give you two solutions. Two, there is no other way. Common sensically, you just need to do two things, okay? Number one, 
you have to earn more. You have to earn more. Uh, and number two, you have to invest better. Okay. So what, what do you mean? Mr. Lu, of course I want to earn more. The fei hua. You think I don't want to earn more money? Ah? Well, it's easier said than done. Okay, easier said than done, right? So in order to earn more, what do you have to do? A lot of people work harder, longer hours whatsoever. I think a human body can only take so much, right? Uh, I think I, I easily work uh, two, three jobs right now, okay? Uh, and that's, I really hit my limit, really. I cannot go on further, right? I got to help out in premium more. I got to handle access to show stuff. I got to set up new businesses uh, and uh, handle some of my investments. I got to do one in six, five. There's just so much I can handle, you know? Everybody hit their limit, right? Was, but yet, right? Yet, uh, a lot of people just work harder and harder and harder and harder, right? I mean, how much health do you have uh, to be able to burn, right? So the, the worst thing you can do is to exchange hours for money. You can do that for a short while. If you exchange hours and effort for money, you can do that for a while. You cannot do it forever. You can do it for, for long, right? Um, let me go back to, to stress and most of one thing, right? The demand for certain skills in Singapore is very, very high. And the pay is also very, very high, okay? So you have to go into this area. You don't have a choice, okay? Let me tell you, I'm an entrepreneur, okay? Uh, we have terrible... Outcome, we have terrible results in trying to hire good people in the area of sales, digital marketing, right? Uh, for example, big data, data analytics, right? Very difficult to hire good people. Uh, the pay in this area are phenomenally high, phenomenally high. Coders, right? Uh, highly skilled coders, very, very high, right? So uh, in, in social media marketing, the demand is very, very high. Um, and uh, for example, you know, uh, uh, live selling, social media selling, right? Sales job. All these are very, very high in demand. This, the, the returns are phenomenal. Why aren't you going into this area, right? Why aren't you going into this area? Oh, Mr. Lu, I'm too old to learn. No, right? You either, right? I, I don't think I can do everything, but I, I at least train myself. Not very good, right? I at least train myself in live selling, okay? I've also trained myself uh, in uh, in data analytics, okay, so I, I can handle these two right now, uh, uh, you know, quite quite well. Not a A, but maybe a B plus, but that's enough, right? I'm fifty, going fifty one in one month's time. What about you? You are forty years old. You are forty five years old, okay? Can't you learn that as well? Some of you are thirty five, right? You're struggling with it. Pick up the high income skills, right? High income skills. Go to area where it's hot in demand, right? And there are lots of skill future vouchers for you to can claim to learn this area, right? So it is a real, it, it is a golden opportunity. Singapore is in a golden age of uh, is 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 a path right now in the economy, and all these areas are super red hot in demand. Why aren't you grabbing it? Go learn them. It might take some time, right? I already said this last year, right? Now, if you don't pick up last year, now you're feeling the, feeling the bite of inflation. Why are you going to start now as well? My, out of my three kids, two are going to, uh, going to, um, uh, going to coding and computing and, and things like that. The, the first one is very good in uh, uh, business and marketing and sales. So so depends which area. So you you got to push, you know, push yourself in this area. And for you to give some advice to your children... Go into this hot area as well uh, and, and pick up these skills, right? These skills pay really well right now, okay? Really well right now. The second skill you need to do is to train yourself to invest well. There is no one responsible for your own investment except yourself. Do not outsource this to some financial, uh, some financial planner, okay? They only look after their interests and not your interests. Now, of course, you know, they, they look after their interest in terms of they get commission okay by by serving you well so if they are in a conflict uh, they are conflict of interest right so so only I think only fee based uh, uh, financial planner uh, you know uh, uh, fee based financial planner are, are less in conflict of interest uh, I know a very few uh, a few of them uh, I think provident is one uh, money I know hour is probably another one or so. But majority of the rest of the financial planners are in a conflict of interest. But anyway, train yourself investor. It's not very difficult, right? 
1865 movement, we train everybody to invest well. We don't collect a single cent from you, no? Don't collect a single cent. Myself, including my big, huge team of volunteers in a 1865 Telegram group, they are very, very successful people, multi-millionaires, some of them much richer than I am, offering their help to coach everybody, right? In a Telegram group, right? Just go and look for, just go and look for 1M65. Uh, let's look for 1M65. Uh, uh, 1M, uh, Lu 1M65 in Telegram, okay? Lu 1M65 in Telegram. There are 30,000 people there, at least 10 to 20 community experts there. All fantastic uh, in different areas. Some are very good in dividend investing, some are very good in CPF, some are very good in property, some are very good in uh, uh, in, 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 in stocks and shares and things like that, right? So all different, they are all there to counter, uh, to, 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 to counter provide, you know, to provide uh, these uh, skills for each other. To invest well, I have three simple steps and I'm not saying that this is the only way but this is one of the way Mr. Lu has done very well in this area. I coach a lot of people in this area. I don't collect a single cent. It's up to you to learn, right? Invest well in your CPF, right? CPF, right? Top up your uh, special account and many safe account and let it compound, right? right? I've made uh, millions uh, in this area, okay? Uh, and a lot of people far outdo me right now, right? So, so, um, so, so this is an area that everybody can do well. On top of that, uh, lay on with your OA, uh, lay on with your S&P 500 uh, and uh, uh, investments, right? It could be in cash or CPF. And a lot of people could do very well if they hold it and let it compound a long period of time. You may not want to do S&P 500 loan. You may want to diversify into a globally diversified index, right? Now, whether you, I, I advocate two ways, right? You either do dollar cost averaging uh, if you can automate the process or, or you can uh, do crash buying like what Mr. Lu do, a lump sum crash buying, right? So, so uh, no, I'm indifferent if you can do a automated DCA dollar cost averaging or you can do crash buying. But, you know, this is, uh, this is ideas. Uh, go learn it, uh, see how, to, how this is being done. Uh, T-bills is in that area, right? T-bills today offer a fantastic rate of return. The government T-bills... Uh, is, is offering, I think, a 3 to 4% return. Huge returns, right? Go invest it well. So all these are basic investment skills that you need to pick up, okay? Today, what I'm sharing is for education and not for not as an investment guide, whether buy or sell or whatever. Go learn yourself, okay? But, you know, these two skills are the only way you can fight inflation in the long run, Okay? I don't know when the inflation will go away. It will come down and he's already come down. But it may not go down as far as what it used to be, right? Will the economy go into a, uh, go into a downturn in, in, uh, in, 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 in future, uh, in the near future? Uh, I don't know, okay? China, China, China economy has crashed terribly. That may have some spillover. Uh, U.S. economy is, is uh, recovering really well. So one is going up, one is coming down. Don't know which one will counter each other. Uh, which, which effect is stronger, I don't know. So Singapore sits in a crossroad of both areas, but I do know for sure. If you don't get yourself to earn better, okay, by going to highly skilled, highly valued area, if you don't train yourself to invest well, you will be on the losing end uh, of the stick, okay? So... Um, so uh, think about this uh, really, uh, really seriously. Uh, two simple things you need to do in concept, in execution, might be a lot more difficult, but get it done, okay? So anyway, if you believe what I said, you know, hit subscribe and hit a like, okay? And uh, I'll see you tomorrow.